welcome today to MG Tracy. So recently we've been this week we've been having a look at the Kerbs Dulce Gusta and also the new Lavazza coffee machine. Now I thought I'd like to order some Lavazza cappuccino, which is what I did from Amazon. And I was expecting to get Lavazza pods that fit the Lavazza machine, but as it turns out, although these ones are compostable, you can put them in your food waste. They don't have a milk option so a little bit like the base models on the Nespresso you are just brewing different versions of coffee actually if you're going to order a Lavazza cappuccino which I have there rather surprisingly it's not on the Lavazza machine it's on the Dulce Gusti system so here we have it this obviously white one is the milk and the darker brown is the coffee ground coffee so we're going to have a go at making a Lavazza cappuccino, not on their machine, but on the Kerbs Dolce Gusta. So let's have a go at that. Right then, let's have a go at this cappuccino. So I've got my fresh water to uh, dock in the back of the Dolce Gusta. There we go, we'll turn it on. We'll hit the button at the top here so it starts heating up. Um, well, I shall go for a clear glass so you can see what it's like. And like with all these things, start with the milk first. So we'll pop in the white one. And I'm just waiting for that to go green rather than a flashing red on the top. Um, I'm going to be reviewing one of the new Tazimos tomorrow, a very trendy orange one. So if you want to come back tomorrow and you're interested in Tazimo, it is my favourite system. That is the one I use them on my way to. Right, we've got our green light, here we go then, bish bosh. If you don't know this machine, this is a manual machine, so there's no barcodes or anything that's going to turn the machine off at the right level, you're going to have to do that yourself. You can see the water is just starting to go clear now, so there we go. So that is the time to finish that one off. Your little button up here goes back to flashing red as it starts to heat up the water. It's already gone green. Um, we'll now pop that in the bin. Do remember these things drip and they are full of almost boiling water, so be really careful if you're doing this, either protecting your floor because you'll have coffee marks or milk marks everywhere, or if there's any kids around. We're now going to put in the Lavazza Cappuccino ground coffee. Here we go there. Lovely. Let's punch at that one. Um, green. So here we go. Oh, as always, my favourite bit of this, that lovely smell of coffee. The smell of a coffee shop. That is awesome. I'll put the links below for all the machines, you'll be able to click in the top right hand corner and have a look at all the different coffee machines I've reviewed. Um, I'll put some links to the Lavazza. I say unlike the actual Lavazza pods, these are not compostable and actually they're really quite difficult to recycle because you've got food waste and two different types of plastic. There we are, there is the Lavazza cappuccino. That is really great when you look at that there, that is awesome. Have a little taste of that. That's not a particularly strong uh, coffee taste. You're getting the cream and the milk there, which is really quite sweet and quite lovely, and it's not too bitter. It's a very mild coffee. Each box has 16 pods, uh, which is eight milk and eight coffee, and you'll see on here, you get some little bar markings. So on some of the more expensive Dolce Gusto models, you adjust the lever to match up with these bars and that puts a relevant amount in. You can see it's saying 200 ml of milk, but only 40 ml of the coffee. So I hope you found that useful. Um, there are hundreds of different coffee machines and bread machines and even Dyson's and Sharp videos on my channel. So please have a look at those. Please join me and subscribe and share the videos. That would be fantastic. You have a great day. This is Paul from London, Centurio, and I shall see you tomorrow.